Hi everyone and welcome to my video and I think that any of you guys come and visit my video today has a reason <laughs> right this video is made um, actually very randomly because this problem just happened to me this morning and it's you know I have been very frustrated like why it didn't work like every single solution that i found actually has another problem on that solutions and then it's just like jane where i have to jump from like point a to point b to point c and d and like mm, okay i'll make this video so today topic that we're gonna talk about is why um most of the adobe applications don't show all of the color in the Benton book. Yep, I just owned it last night. Well, the reason and the reason why I own this is actually very, very sweet. I was actually sharing with like Boo about, oh, um, you know, what I gonna need for the future product. I was planning on you know having this and that and that i was actually talking to myself to remind me what to have and i didn't really expect him to really listen and he actually went on and purchased it and the next day he showed them to me which is last night and i was just like oh my god cry yes so this is solely coated and yes you know I'm not going to talk about what is the difference between solid coated and unsolid, uh, solid uncoated. Just different materials. Well, you know, there will be different video talking about this and we're not talking about this today. Why? Because I want to focus on this. Let's just make a quick video because I need to go back to work. <laughs> uh, well, um, so the color that is actually very trendy for this year and very very lovely red color um it's gonna be this one it's quite blurry so but yes it's a very lovely christmas color because i'm working on christmas theme um the number the coat gonna be two three four seven this is actually an update version um was well, happened this year when i searched for like the people that have the same problems well this color won't show if you search on adobe applications like illustrations uh, illustrator photoshop no you cannot find this color right and out there there's a lot of actually link to show you how to like oh they say you need to res reset um the swatch color um well install that install this but guess what i have tried and is my work you know with several people just not working with me well so this is this is the way that i figure out and um i guarantee that it work a hundred percent it's just like a lot of steps so here we are um i'm gonna give you guys the example and we're gonna switch to the monitor well, uh, so this is a gingerbread love enamel pins that I'm going to send to the manufacturers. And um, I'm choosing the right color for it. And so you got to make sure that the when you send the file away, you need to make sure that they can understand, you know, like how, what is the size of the pin that you want. Um, make sure that they understand is bent on solid coated colors. And so you list you know the color down here for them to understand right and i'm right here stuck with this color well let me show you really quick for example if just like if you own right when you open your when you open your bent on solid coat book and you choose the color the color red that i share with you um two three four seven for christmas one well here for example if you open this right you know you just you just like uh normal behavior 
you open it. Benton solid coated. You type in here. Two, three, four, seven. It didn't show, right? So what you gonna do? Step by step. All right, and I'm you know I'm sure to you this this is not the only color that in that you cannot find on Adobe applications. So first of all, the first step, you have to install um what they call Bentone color manager download right it's right there and make sure that you on the right website right here i'm gonna have the link in the description so you know that's gonna be the right one for you so if you own a mac you know or if you own a windows one then you choose the software that you want to install so after you install so after you install the benton color manager applications application you open it yes it's gonna show you know if you want to activate it or if you want to continue the dryer well i'm not gonna buy it now since you know i'm still trying to figure out if it's worth it or if i have you know the other ways to use this benton color codebook so i'm gonna choose the dryer one give it a second so what you're gonna do that you're gonna hit file new palette you're gonna type anything you want to type i would say missing color then you're gonna select uh you know what the colors uh, you want to find like solid coated is that what we're talking about and then you create so right here they even say to add colors drag and drop an image here click on the plus to choose a color right so the plus is right here you click on it you just shut and it's right here after you after show you can just click on it and drag right it's gonna be automatically dropping in here what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna export it into you know illust illustrator file or photoshop one or indesign one whatever like your purpose is right standard and go with the rgb one then it's gonna be exported just hit just click yes right it's not really important and then you're gonna open your illustrator again so right here you're gonna click on the little top right you know menu of the swatch color and open library or the library you remember where you put it then right it's gonna be right at the swatch and is will be missing color one you open it and voila this is right here right see so the red one and now you are welcome to use it more than welcome you see there you go so if you like this video please thumbs up and subscribe um in the future i'm planning on making more video about you know a new business that i am diving into which is crafting well it's not new it's just new to me um and it's more like enamel pin making right um because i make a lot of illustrations and i just know that right now enamel pin is on the high rise um everybody love pins right i i probably already be late um i'm racing um and also christmas is on the way i probably gonna update my shop very soon um with a lot of more cute design for christmas and you know if you like handmade stuff 
enamel pins, please come and check out my shop. Uh, this business is quite new to me. It's like two or three probably months and um, I am going to go for it full time. So I also need a lot of you guys help. Um, I hope that you know you can find some key little things that can brighten up your day. Yes. So that is it for today video and thank you a lot for sticking with me to the end. Um, I hope that you guys can figure it out, you know, whatever problems that you're facing with the Benton color. This is, you know, a very worthy budget. Well, everybody that actually, you know, making pins that I really recommend that you should own this and I will definitely have the link below well you can find it on Amazon it's like it's not hard to find at all and I'm not making any money for you to click on that link <laughs> it's not an affiliate link <laughs> right just ask me if you still have a questions bye